Did someone call for a 21-year-old DM from Uruguay? Yeah, we got him for you. Let's check him out. Manuel Ugarte is one that is on a lot of people's books, especially after the winter update. His potential is something like 175. Absolutely insane right now. Uh, and as you can see, his mentals and physicals are through the roof already. His acceleration and pace, however, are not. Uh, technically, he does need to grow a bit. Tackling of 18, though? Mother of God. Marking of 14, passing of 13 is, is great, uh, especially for a 21-year-old. But hopefully some of these things can grow. But I mean, overall, for 21, he's looking really good. Uh, you can see he's got a couple of families already. Uh, and his Tasha de Liga winners, first international cap, uh, scored his first senior club, made a senior club debut. So he's got some milestones to his name already. But injury-wise, always the big thing, he's got nothing, which is fantastic to see right off the bat, especially for a 21-year-old who's been around for a couple of seasons already. Uh, only made 25 appearances for Sporting right now, but let's see what happens in the next 10 years. Well, at 32 years old, he has jumped ship really quickly from Sporting after two seasons all the way to Newcastle where he's been ever since. 357 appearances, five goals as primarily a DM, not too bad. Mentals, physicals, still fantastic. I mean, all this green. Acceleration of 14, pace of 15. He's picked it up pace, what about two? Acceleration about one. Uh, some of his technicals have grown. Marking is 15, passing 16. Uh, tackling of 17 is fantastic. Love to see it. Uh, he could actually be a, a center back too. But at 32 years old, he looks fantastic. Star player, 215K per week until 2035. And as you can see, they are in the conference league. 11 plus 3, 1 goal, 3 assists, 710 average rating. 35 in the Prem, 6 assists, 714. So overall, definitely one to scout. Definitely take a look at this kid. But as you can see, career stat-wise... Starting out at Centro Atletico Phoenix, I'm going to assume that's in the Uruguay League. Yes, it is. To FC Familicao, Familicao in Portugal. Can't speak Portuguese. Nine and a half million to Sporting and then 50 million to Newcastle. And every season he's been on record is above seven, which is fantastic to see. And re I mean, since hitting Sporting's second season, every season is above 30 matches. So he's been around the block and clearly not an injury problem. Uh, he is doing fantastic jobs right now. And as we talk about injuries, we might as well take a look. And really, one major, three moderates, everything else is slight or minor. It is a fantastic sight to behold. This kid is definitely one you want to scout. Is definitely going to grow very nicely in that DM role or however you can train him uh, elsewise. But injury-wise, not a problem. Uh, he's, he's going to be fantastic. Currently milestone wise, no personal, uh, trophies to his name. However, you know, he does have Tasha Liga winners. We've already seen that Tasha Portugal placard winners. Uh, he does have an FA cup, FA community shield winner. Sorry with Newcastle. Everything else is just named seasonal best 11s, but still, I mean, we've seen people get awards after this, after the season before retirement. So maybe that'll work. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, still he's, he's doing really well. Uh, I mean, seasonal best 11s are nothing to laugh at. So uh, he could get a few more trophies in his cabinet is the only, I guess, thing I would say negatively about him. But obviously that's not just him. It's the entire team. So he's got to do something. But I mean, overall, really nothing to shake a stick at right now. Biography, he is world's one of world's global superstars. Uh, he's got four winner's medals collected during the Tasha de Liga. He's got FA Community Shield. Why do they do FA Community Shield and then Tasha de Portugal Placard? Placard? Uh, it's the weird the order that they have, but we've already seen those. Uh, but the last thing we're going to check out is when he retires. So it did take me a little while to figure this out, but he plans to retire at the end of the season 2040 uh, at 39 years old. He is really one that has pushed the boundaries age-wise. We haven't really seen that a lot. And as you can see, he actually grew into that center back role. Uh, so he is creating the versatility, but acceleration of eight and pace of eight, definitely dwindling at this point, but his tacticals and mentals are still through the roof. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, he looks like a real winner, but I mean, right now, this past season, he's a squad player, uh, 130 K to the end of the season, 70 K to 210 
And that's what his total is. But four starts, 20 off the bench, 679. So he is definitely dwindling. If we look at his career stats, yeah, the last two seasons have just started to go downhill. Uh, still everything above seven, though, from before that point all the way down. 38 total appearances that season, 2037, 2038. So he is definitely loving life at Newcastle, but it is time to hang up his boots. Any more injuries? Yeah, he's got a broken nose, food poisoning, flu. Nothing really massively concerning, though. So injury-wise, you're clear pretty much with this kid, and that is fantastic to see. Uh, biography. He's got five winners now. He has five winners medals. Uh, UEFA Europa League, he got that with Newcastle in 2034 and everything else we've already seen. Definitely, definitely, definitely take a look at this kid. He looks like he is going to be a fantastic addition to any squad. Definitely a, a world-class starter. 151 caps that he ends with. Four goals. You know what I haven't taken a look at? What are his tactical uses? Central midfield, seven for the club. DM is six. And then right midfielder, three. I mean, again, this is the last season, so he's not really being used all that much. But anyway, that is it for the career of Manuel Ugarte. I am Sefin FM for the Football Manager blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you.